Alrighty, everyone. Welcome to the second unboxing of the second thrift store find. This is the unboxing of the second thrift store find, which of course happens to have been at the OK Well, according to the Jordan, aka the Goodwill thrift store. But anyway, why would he say the OK Well? I don't know. But anyway, this is a Midlands. WR400 Weather Alert Radio. And it was brand new in box when I first got it. Surprisingly. Anyways, let's go ahead and open it. Well, what do you know? Here's what it came in. Oh, and here is the um, OK Wheel price tag. It was for the six beans. And this was back on uh, October 4th of 2024. This was not it, but anyway. The 40 2024, I don't know where that come from, but hopefully it don't... Uh, Ah, here's the uh, instruction, the manual. I'm not sure if uh, this is the... Here's the uh, owner's manual. Okay, so this is the All Hazards Weather Alert Radio. My second weather alert radio. Since my first one was the WR120B, the newer one. I believe this one is also kind of new. And here is the weather radio itself. Huh. Well, what do you know? The original owners. Or the original sellers. Actually sold this to the Goodwill from down at Farmerville, Louisiana. Better, uh, not, um... You know, better not remove that sticker just yet. This one does take the 12 volts. And um, it should still work, but... You know, I've always quite liked weather radios. Just like the T, a.k.a. the Classic Electrics. But anyway, this is the Midlands WR400. Well, the radio itself. Here's the model. Or the quick program in reference. Okay, so. What we need to do here is we need to find out. Ah, so it takes four AA cell batteries. Which I'm surprised there was four AA cell batteries that are not in there. If it could have been Duracell or Leak-A-Cell, or Duraleak, that would have not been good. But thankfully, everything seems as it should be. Almost like new. Alright, now for the next thing i got. This has to be the original AC adapter that comes along with the radio. <laughs> and a twist tie fell out of it. But anyway, this is the weather radio. Huh. This is the original adapter to this radio. This is model HT0051500R00USH, which the input is at 100 to 240 volts at 50 to 60 hertz at 0 0.25 amps of power. With the output being at 5 volts AC, I think, or DC, at 1,500 milliamps. Made in the China, unfortunately, but it happens to have so worked. It was unfortunately made in the China, but hopefully it'll last much longer. So, all I got here left to go is the last thrift store find I ever found. 
and the T, aka the Classic Electrics, Southern Weather Media. How did you like this radio? I don't know if it was made just recently or if it was made a couple years ago or what, but this might be one of the newer WR400s. That would be the first ever weather alert radio that I have ever tested. Here's the AC adapter that goes with it. And I need to blur out the number to this. Whoops. I need to blur out the number to this uh, telephone or this uh, weather radio. The weather radio's previous owners did a good job. But anyway, that would be it for this video of the unboxing of the Midlands WR400. All has its weather alert radio, which I'm surprised I even found this guy of all things. Open box and almost like new in the box. Surprisingly, this guy was six beans of the OK will. But anyway, that would be it for this video. May God bless every one of you.